Hello, my dear, Michelle B here. I love to help you raise your vibration so that you can bring in more love, abundance, soul purpose, that is meaning into your life. And I like to do weekly check-ins where we talk about the uh, astrological influences happening at this time. I pull out some an affirmation and some tarot cards and, and then we can go about our lives for the rest of the week with good direction on how we can create the lives that we want, knowing what's going on in, in the environment around us. So how was Scorpio season? It's November 21st. It's the last day of Scorpio of 2021. 11, 21, 21. Mm. How was Scorpio season? Mixed bag for some people. I actually had a pretty good Scorpio season this year. Usually I do okay during Scorpio season because I love to look at my shadow side because I I want to get it out there. That's just me. It's not, not everybody loves this part. It's like addressing parts of myself that I suppress that are who I really am, but I suppress it because I'm not supposed to like it. Uh, it's supposed to be bad in some way, but often, especially as females, as the, as the uh, I, f feminine identifiers, we're told that that part of us is bad. Therefore, um, we we you know, press it down, it's weak or it's bad in some way. And so we try to hide it, but it always comes out in some way. And in Scorpio season, we're addressing that, we're bringing it up. We're like, who are we really? What do we really want? And how can we get it in a way that's beneficial to ourselves and the people around us? So we made a lot of decisions during this last season about what we did not want, what we do want and what we do not want in our lives. And uh, we've had two earthly influences <clears throat> in in the last couple of weeks we've had so venus and capricorn has made us want to take care of the mundane things in our lives but in like this grounded um, organized manner so that has been a really good influence for us starting on november 4th and it's just kind of helped us be able to get what we want in our regular lives, but do it in a way that is, is consistent, right? And then also we've had the full moon in Taurus that happened over this last weekend. It happened on the 19th. If you weren't already adjusting your emotional alignment with the things that, like your everyday life, your mundane, how you eat, how you work, how you express your physical body, and that includes sensuality, well, if you weren't already starting to trying to get into alignment with that because of Scorpio season, you were definitely forced to, you might've even been shaken up a little bit over the last weekend. So it's pretty likely that most of us spent the weekend daydreaming about lifestyles and livelihoods that touch the core of our sense of creativity and beauty. So we've almost like, we, it's like almost we, we became you know, at our emotional core, we became children again that had this imagination about what, what they want to be when they grow up. You're like, you're imagining, what if I did this? What if I did that? And if you weren't, it's because you were allowing yourself to be criticized. You were allowing that critical voice to come in. Hopefully, as I was explaining last week, most of you were let, letting that critical voice, that cyn that cynicism, letting it go to the wayside and allowing that young voice, the young you, allowing it to come out and express itself, express what it would, would want. Well, I had some downloads over the weekend for my personal life. <laughs> it was like, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Right. And how am I going to, how am I going to make it happen? Because that Venus in Capricorn was like, how are you going to make it happen? Right. Gotta, gotta be like, it's not like you gotta be realistic. It was like, what could I do? What could I do to make it happen? Mm -hmm. And I was like excited about it. So the download that I got was, I want to start a boutique <laughs> with, um, pretty things that I like, mostly vintage, but just uh, some other crafty things because I am, uh, I, I do, like I sewed my own shirt, my own blouse here. Like I sew my own clothes. I love just to, to do all kinds of little crafts with jewelry and lots of other things. And I also like to provide tarot readings. I thought if I had my own boutique, then I could provide tarot readings to people that just wanted to come in off the street. 
instead of having to only do it from, from this online platform. And so I was just so excited about the idea, but then that's that, that Venus in Capricorn came in and was like, okay, so this is how you're going to get it done. And that's when the Scorpio voice also came in and was like, I'm going to protect you by helping you pick apart why you can't do this. So that was there also, but I was like, wait, 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 Scorpio voice. Thank you for trying to protect me. Thank you for trying to keep me from suffering the heartbreak of failure. However, I'm not going to fail at this. I'm just going to go slowly and not have expectations for myself at this moment. Just because I had this idea doesn't mean that I have to like dissolve the rest of my life in order to move toward it. If it's, a, if it's meant to be for me, it will come to me over time easily as I align with that idea. So that, that brings us to the present. I was like so excited. I was really buzzing over the ideas and I had to tell myself, to simmer down, but not from the, from the skeptical side. It was just like, hey, you gotta pace yourself. If you really want this, you gotta pace yourself and it's gonna take a while. Okay, so to the present, November 22nd, that's tomorrow, is going to kick off the celebra celebratory social Sagittarius season. This energy is all about idealism, fun, passion and general goodwill so we're excited we're lit up um happy birthday sagittarius it's time to start having some fun and progressing in a passionate way toward what we want okay so it's interesting the sagittarius season kicks off with the holiday season which is mm, that's an interesting coincidence that all that all worked out and on a side note this is just a little side thing. I'm going to go on about Sagittarius season in just a minute, but I do want to mention that November 26th, that's the day after Thanksgiving in the United States. If you're watching for the United States, I know I have viewers from all over the world, but if you're watching from the United States, the day after Thanksgiving, Chiron and Saturn are going to be sextile. They're going to be complementary. So that um, brings an opportunity to heal past wounds so that you can get on with your life. That is if you want to. So if you become in connection with friends or family over the holidays, that you could heal wounds that were that happened between the two of you, this is a good opportunity to do that on the 26th or right around the 26th. If you want to, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. Just because it's ideal doesn't mean you have to or even should, okay? You can do it within yourself without actually even talking to someone either. So I've been doing lots of my own personal healing without having to interact with anybody because I know that those other people didn't really mean to hurt me. They were doing their best. So having that confrontation, and some of them have passed away too. So having the confrontation is not necessarily going to help anything. It's just something that's happening, healing that's happening within myself. So keep that in mind for this week. So discussion and reminder for the week, all right? We have the lunar wind down, which is happening, which is occurring right now in the aftermath of the full moon. So it gets bigger and bigger, and then it winds down, 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 down. And so what our bodies and our emotional selves are doing is they're contracting, right? But at the same time, we have Sagittarius season winding up and wanting to expand. So there's this conflict, this push and pull that's happening. You are also sparked up by that full moon. I had these downloads. I'm really excited about it. The Sagittarius fire is like, well, let's go do it. But at the same time this week, it's about contracting and being present in the moment. All right. So let's just hear me out about all of this. I have a affirmation for this week, November 21st through the 28th. Okay. I am exactly where I need to be right now, okay? So like there's this energy coming from Sagittarius right now that's like, I know what I want and I want it right now. When am I gonna get to it? Can't I do, shouldn't I be doing something about it right now? It's so excited and that's wonderful. But it's not, this week is not the time to be doing a bunch of work. <laughs> this week is about being present with your life as it is and being grateful for the blessings that you do have right now, okay? So we are going to hold that fire of excitement for the downloads that we had, for the ideas, the inspiration that we've had over the last weekend, over the last month, 
what we've been working on for a while. We're going to hold that space for it. At the same time, we're going to pull in and meditate and be grateful. And it's coincidentally, in the United States at least, we're spending time with our families. We're having quiet time, okay? And the moon, is, the moon contracting is like, okay, so let's settle down, take a deep breath, and get a good look at everything good that we have going on in our lives, okay? So we're going to talk a little bit, before I finish up, I'm going to talk a little bit about the archer of Sag Sagittarius. And I think this is wonderful for Sagittarius to hear, but it's also wonderful because we all have a little bit of Sagittarius in us. And we're, we are Sagittarius when we're in Sagittarius season. So we're going to talk about Kudo, the Japanese um, tradition of archery, which is not so much about hunting. It might have started out as hunting or as a martial art, but it's now much more about the meditation process and the form of becoming in your physical, grounded in your physical body as a form of being present in the moment as it is, okay? So if, if you have a chance to uh, look up on YouTube the process, the, how Kudo works, it's, there's a, a I had a, my, my children's father was a Kudo practitioner for a little while. And so they start out with a long meditation where everyone is collected together and they're meditating and being grounded in the moment. And let's see ourselves like we are in that, in the process of getting of getting up to the point of the archery, right? We're just in the meditate meditative state to ground ourselves for the next steps. That's what we're doing this week. We're in the meditative state. And then they, one at a time, will go through the whole process of um, being present and using a precise form, one movement at a time, before they finally, like they gotta like go through this whole routine before they finally are able to, they do this thing and then they let the arrow go. But it's not like they're actively shooting the arrow. They're doing the form and having everything aligned perfectly with the act of finally allowing the arrow to go. But if they have that form down perfectly, exactly how to place their bodies, exactly how to hold the tension in their bodies before they allow the arrow to go, that's, they're, they're not overly concerned with whether or not that arrow is gonna hit the target. Because if they have the form down perfectly, it usually hits the target, right? So it's the process, the journey, is more important than the destination. You will get to the destination, metaphorically, in Sagittarius season, you're going to get to the destination if you are in alignment with the act that gets you to the destination, okay? So it's all about the journey, it's not about the destination. It's not about the thing that you want, it's about putting yourself in alignment with the thing that you want. Naturally going to happen, if there's something that you want, I'm using the archer in Kudo as a metaphor for Sagittarius and for anything that you want at any time of year, is that if, you're, if your life is in alignment with what it is that you desire, which is the destination or the target that you're trying to hit, if everything that you're doing is in alignment with doing that thing really well, then you're gonna get what you want. So for example, if you're trying to bring in economic success, you're going through the routine, you're doing all the things that people who are economically successful do, it's going to happen. So that if you can align yourself with the journey of being a person that is economically successful, just as the archer is aligning themselves with being a person who hits a target, all the routines, all the stances, all the poses, the right breath, the right tension, that's who you are when you're an economically successful person. You want to attract a great relationship into your life or lots of wonderful relationships into your life. You have to align yourself with being a person that 
is a great relationship person, a person that knows how to interact with people with respect and dignity and honor for themselves first and then for others also. And that's how in the journey of becoming aligned with that, it's natural that you're going to have awesome relationships. You will hit that target of having awesome relationships if you are behaving like a person that goes through these steps. All right. So that's what I'm reminded of. I had this download overnight last night about Kudo and the archer that is Sagittarius. It's like, it's not about, I'm going to go get the target. I'm going to get the target. It's about becoming aligned with the process that ends up at the destination and not actually the destination. I hope I made sense. I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to pull a final card. See what we have here. This is my Solace Divinity deck. Go ahead and check them out on, on the uh, Instagram. Solace Divinity. That's where I ordered the deck from. Lovely folks from Australia sent, sent this deck to me during the pandemic when it was really hard. Shipping was not an easy thing. And I just love it because it has a like wonderful gold and black um, coloring. But it's the it's I thought it would be gilded, but it's not. But that's okay because sometimes the gilded, um, the gilded shininess doesn't work very well for my recordings. And it's a it's a Rider weight art deck. Okay. Okay. One more little shuffle here. There we go. Page of Wands. I knew a wand was going to come up. I knew a wand was going to I knew it. You look at you. You are the beginner. Perfect. I love it when that happens. You are the beginning. You're at the beginning of Sagittarius season. At the beginning of your journey, here's your wand or your arrow, right? And you are, you are a novice or an apprentice learning the form that you need to know to get to what you want. So for example, for myself, I would like to be a person that is a boutique owner of a, a small business in my town here, Bellingham, Washington. I would like to be a boutique owner. So I must uh, be an apprentice and align myself with the process of becoming a person who is that. And naturally, I will become a boutique owner. So what's what are my first steps? Um, can I be mentored by other small business owners so that I understand the process of owning owning a little business? Can I take classes in um, business ownership, taxation, inventory? Um, it doesn't seem like really fun, exciting stuff right off the bat, but I think it will become more interesting when I align myself in a positive way. So the first thing is to have a great attitude. I'm being reminded of my little boy when he was so frustrated about me trying to teach him how to tie his shoes. <laughs> he was so angry that it wasn't coming easily at first. But I was like, when you're ready to be happy and excited and in a good mood about learning, learning this, then we can come back to it. And then he did. He took some time out for a couple hours. And then I was like, so do you want to do this now? He's like, okay. And then he had a good attitude about it. And it clicked just like that. It's when, when you don't have a good attitude about it, the process becomes really frustrating. And, you know, Sagittarius season can be a little bit frustrating because we got that fiery energy. So remember that if you're not happy and excited to be doing it, don't force yourself. And when you are happy and excited to be learning things that are challenging, run with it. <laughs> okay. So little bits, little bits at a time if you have to. Remember you're a student and students need regular routines starting slowly. All this stuff is just coming to me as I flow through it. So this week, rest and prepare yourself for the beginning of a journey. I love you all. Have a great holiday, my American viewers. And otherwise, I will see you next week. Love you.